Hello, it's Scott Manley, and today I'm adding my component to the International YouTube Lunar Station, which is a high-tech research establishment orbiting the moon of Corbin, specifically the moon, or the moon, or the moon, depending upon how you include your accents. Orion, you're here, aren't you? Yes, what do you think of this grand occasion? You don't have much thoughts. Sky, you are here. What do you think of this grand occasion? Um, what do you think I'm launching here? Something from NASA. <laughs> something from NASA. No, this has nothing to do with NASA. Can you see this rocket, something how it's designed? Something from KSP. <laughs> yes, it is launched from Carable Space Center, yes. Um, but can you see what it is I'm actually is flying here? Is it launched from your computer? Is it what? Is it launched from my computer? It is being launched from my computer, yeah, because I had to fly it now. Oh, so you, so you were actually launching something into space in real life? No, I wasn't launching something into space in real life. Although, I was with somebody on Wednesday who is launching stuff into space in real life, and uh, he, uh, I'm hoping to have a video of his uh, attempt at Kerbal wow. Space Program very soon. But for now, we are taking this vehicle into orbit. Mm, yeah, looks... Can you take a look at that and see what it looks like? Tell me what you think this thing it looks, looks like. It looks like a spaceship. Okay. It's a lunar lander. It does have landing legs, but it as... It looks like a head yeah. with legs. It looks like a it head with like legs. It looks like a sick person. Yeah. As it turns out, I was a little optimistic when it came to my um, injection vehicle. I should have made my launch stage bigger. I put legs on it because I thought I was going to land this whole thing in the moon. A lunar lander moon? Yeah, I, I thought that I would have more than enough fuel, and in the end I didn't have nearly enough fuel. So right now, I'm, I believe I'm actually flying this now using RCS. Um, <laughs> I had a very large RCS stage because you need to perform docking. But uh, yeah, that whole thing is flying on RCS alone now. The nuclear stage was originally intended to go to the moon, but then I realized when I launched that I hadn't made a big enough is launch stage. Uh, yes! Sky has indeed got the winning answer. This is indeed a safe because it is very important for uh, a Does mineral resource. Uh, not at this time. It is empty. But it's very important for a safe, for a mineral research station to have a safe on hand so that in the event of an emergency, the the crew can jump on board it and fly safe, so to speak. So, how do you just fly around in space? Yes, it's a terrible joke, isn't it? In fact, it's the twi second time I've made that joke in 24 hours. It's pretty embarrassing, like isn't it? bunny ears? You know, Orion, I know you're trying to make bunny ears behind my head, but there's no camera turned um, on, so it's not going. All we're doing is narrating this thing. Hmm. Yeah, so we're going into mineral orbit here. And you see I'm doing it like Did a plane narrate? change. <laughs> yes, narrate means to talk over videos. Yes, to talk is to provide uh, information and possibly entertainment to the viewers out there. Now you see I'm uh, adjust. what I'm doing here is I'm going to provide a tiny correction to my orbit so that I actually intersect the station. You see that? What I'm doing is just poking around until the, the orbit actually brings me on an intercept. And then once I fly in close, I'm just going to kill my velocity very quickly. Mm -hmm. So here we go, falling towards the moon, and we're making our correction here. It's very small. All these corrections are being done with RCS. Do Chihuahuas wear glasses? Ah, uh, what is a Chihuahua? Chihuahuas are Chihuahuas. Yeah, so was, Skippy John Jones. Yeah, Skippy John Jones. You like that? Skippy John Jones is a kids' book about a Siamese cat who okay. preferred pretends to be a Chihuahua and sings Mexican tunes. Uh, it is probably amazing if you're stoned or a child. Anyways, <laughs> we're just trying to get this thing tweaked out. Uh, listen to the amazing music in quadruple speed. Again, sounding like crazy. I don't know. I'm glad there's no beats. Otherwise, it would sound like Gabber Techno. And indeed, Gabber Techno has not been uh, has never been classified as a particularly intellectual form of music. I don't think that anyone has ever called Gabber Techno the new jazz. Oh, nice view there of the moon, the moon and the sun. Uh, no, the Earth, the Kerbin, Kerbin. That's what they call it in this game, right? Okay. Okay. Kerbin Earth. Kerbin Earth. No, it's it's called Kerbin. Earth, <sighs> Earth is a is a myth. It doesn't exist in this game. Orion is tapping me on the shoulder. I think he has something to say. What do you have to say? Is that space ice cream? Is there? Yes, there is such a thing as space ice cream. Because uh, I've seen it in the academy. Yeah, it, it's, it's not cold. It just tastes like ice cream, but it's not cold. 
But you know what? There's a lot of things that taste like ice cream on Earth. Especially ice cream. <laughs> I like ice cream. What what kind of ice cream would you take to space with you if you could? Um, Rocky Road. Rocky Road, I see. I, I would probably take chocolate. Dark yeah. chocolate. Dark I'd chocolate? Take any kind. No, you could only take one because it's a limited mass available. Then chocolate. Chocolate, okay. So we're we would outvote you, Sky. It's a good yeah. thing we're not going to space because you'd have to do without your, your Rocky Road ice cream. And there we go, another really? another encounter. Just a quick adjustment here. Look, we are now coming up on this space station. Is there yeah. such thing as a volt? A volt? A volt is a unit of measurement of electricity. No. Uh, it's also Voldemort. a type of... Voldemort! Voldemort, no. <laughs> no, volt is not short for Voldemort. Yes. I do not think that uh, when it's when you see 240 volts in the wall socket, or 120 as it says here, that uh, that does not mean there is you know 120 Voldemort sitting there trying to escape <laughs> from the el electrical outlet. I do not think that uh, my computer has a 20 Voldemort bus, <laughs> but this thing does indeed. Oh, well, look at this! This is my first sighting of this. I actually made this several weeks ago. It was on version 0.19, so we do not have much in the way of. This is very off center. This, so I have to be very careful. Docking is entirely manual, there were no mods allowed, no mechanical jab, uh, and indeed no ferrum aerospace, not ferrum aerospace, no fire spitter mod, which uh, includes a, a an actual safe. Yeah, the, the fire spitter mod has a working safe with a working door, it has valuables inside it, and it actually acts as a control vehicle, although I found it kind of hard to attach to things. Regardless, we are going to attach this to the International YouTube Moon Station and provide them with a place to store their valuables. Look at that. Mission accomplished. Now we shall perform the other part of the mission that was made explicit. I shall get rid of this debris so that it is not uh, near the space station anymore. So we're going to uh, try and put this down on the surface of the moon. Actually, we're going to crash it because we don't have enough fuel. <laughs> it's what the spacemen eat made out of space. No, spacemen don't eat stuff made out of space. <laughs> no, they eat things like macaroni cheese, vacuum packed, and they eat uh, jelly as well. Vacuum like packed. Jello? It is like Jello, but uh, but the thing is, it's an international space station, and Jello is not a brand name that's known outside of the U.S. Uh, or rather, in other countries, it's not called Jello. Yeah. It's called jelly. There we go. If only I had brought enough fuel, perhaps we could be setting this down and creating the international YouTubers space uh, moon base, right? Is it going to crash? It is going to crash. But look, what is that skipping away? It looks like a frisbee, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, unfortunately. It's a space, it's it's a space frisbee that weighs about the same as you. Actually, it probably weighs more. I don't know how heavy it weighs. <laughs> it's a lot. What's up, Orion? What do you got to say? Is that going to crash into our computer? No, it's going to crash into the moon, but the moon <laughs> is generated by the computer. Therefore, it is kind of going to crash into the computer. Let us appreciate this little thing's last journey to the surface. That Boom. Nice. That didn't show much of a explosion. It, it was not much of a vehicle to explode. There are is actually still bits flying over the surface, but I think their life is limited. Let us return now are to this. Atoms? No, they're bigger than that. Anyway, back at the International YouTube Lunar Space Station, we need to test the functionality of the newly supplied component. So we have a volunteer in the form of Delaney Kerman, who will tr EVA and examine this new addition. It's interesting that, uh, unfortunately, the door is on the dark side of the station, so we have to use lights. But there it is there. You can see it as a crew tank surrounded by extra armor plating to protect him from the radiation and everything else, no doubt, or to protect cool his valuables. Spaceship. It is a cool spaceship. Look at that. It totally works. He is inside the crew tank. Now he can join the... Oh, wait. Hatch is obstructed. He can't exit. Um, does anyone have the keys to this safe? Do you have keys, Sky? Um, I, I think I know that keys won't work, probably. You have keys that won't work. Maybe we'll send... My how, how about delete? Keys? Yes. No. That's the... His name's Delaney, not delete. Although he might as well be deleted from the mission because he's now stuck in there. <laughs> so he will be at least safe in the event of a disaster. 
Well, anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the YouTube Mooner Space Station. Watch out for the next part next time. I'm Scott Manley. Fly, Fly safe. safe.